if you don't subscribe my channel yet please subscribe and press the bell icon for upcoming videos pivot table in excel pivot table is a table of grouped values that aggregate individual items this is a data processing tool that used to organize and summarize data or information between spreadsheet tables or database let's see the practical video tutorial these are the records in this worksheet usually we use some function to sum of a column but it's easy to sum of a group of data to compare specific data according to filter this is auto sum now select outside of the record go to the insert menu click on fever table yes now it's not selected any record you can manually put record or you can drag for selecting yes it's easy you can select to create fever table okay now just cancel it and if you click on a record or any cell or exist your data then when you insert fever table it will select whole record whole table and you can see it's selected all the records now choose where you want to fever table want the fever table report to be placed you can create this fever table in existing worksheet or you can create in a new worksheet okay i just created a new worksheet these are the column in the worksheet displaying in the pivot field table fields okay now drag the filter between areas below you can see filter filter used to filter based on specific criteria and columns used to display value based on row column rows display in rows based on column value values display value based on column and rows now i'm gonna just uh, dragging the uh, seller column for filtering in the filter section okay the seller is added in the fever table you can see all the seller displaying in the seller column okay these are the seller john sandy max tom johnny jewel okay now rose so rose is product name okay i just uh, drag this product name in the rose section see that rows are product name are left hand mobile now values values in amount so i just uh, put uh, amount in the values i mean items values product names values now column level columns uh, is month so just put month yes now okay, so you can see that left up in march month and uh, Jan january march april uh, june and this is the grand total you can see end of this table okay now january march april june february may okay it's working fine now you can filter uh, based on seller now it's displaying all the seller records if you select john it will display only john how much uh, left of and mobile sold by john in january and march if I select max seller, yes, you can see uh, max uh, sold uh, laptop and mobile in different different month and total grand total. You can filter in low row level. I mean, if you deselect mobile, it will display only laptop. Okay. now it's displaying all the records summary of the information now i'm gonna add one more filter customer i mean if i want to filter seller and customer then it will display in the fever table or uh, seller and customer okay johnny seller seller all seller customer johnny I mean, how much left of persist uh, johnny customer journey if Matthew then it's displaying the re record for Matthew okay if max 
max uh, max seller and customer criteria does not match any records so it's displaying null okay if you want to remove any uh, any field just uh, click and remove and remove field yes the field is removed from the fever table filter section okay now you can add quantity in the values then you can see january sum of quantity laptop 6 and mobile 15 sum of amount 600 and 500 dollar okay hope you understand it's all thanks for watching this tutorial